Right then, welcome back Year 9 to our fifth tutorial and this is going to be talking all about rendering. Now for this tutorial I've selected myself three harmonious colours and those colours are my light blue, a dark blue and a purple. And the reason I've chosen these colours is because they link next to each other on the colour wheel and work in harmony when we're shading. In terms of the outer of my Google Cardboard here, I've got the, sorry this is the inner view, you can see the two by convex lenses over here and you can see the flap at the top and obviously the way that I've drawn this isometrically. In terms of direction of light I'm going to say that the light is coming from here so these top parts of this 3D form are going to be in the lighter shades whereas the bits inside here will be in darker shading okay. I'm going to begin with that with using our lighter shade for today which is going to be our light blue. That's going to be classed as probably our mid and that's going to be as our dark and we'll see how I blend those in as we go along. I'm going to start with a lid now and I'm going to take my shading on a 45 degree angle and start adding that in. So I press on really hard at first and then as I'm going at a 45 or thereabouts I'm going to get a little bit lighter as I go towards the edge. I can start shading over my hidden lines as well because I clearly know at this point that they are hidden features and I've identified that by doing the dotted lines. And the same over on the other side of here. I'm going to take my pencil, press on really nice and hard for the outer edges, 45 degree angle of the direction. And I'm going to take that in and just block that colour in first. And you can see that just being added lighter towards the middle, whoops, and then darker towards the edge on there. Okay, so that's the top bit of my sheet. And now I'm going to go for this base plate here, which again is another flat form. Three, uh, 35 degrees again shading in, block really hard towards the top corners and as you go further along press on lightly. Normally I block in the main shape before then I start to go around the edges so again block it in the main light this time. Notice when it's light I change the way that I shade in from a circular pattern instead of a 45 degree pattern. So you can see there just some circular motions just to get that nice light shading. I'm not applying much pressure. And then back over to the side here. Over we go, blocking it in, 45 degree angle. And then adding a little bit of pressure as I go around. Now this does come with practice, folks. Don't be worried if the first attempt is a little bit messy, but it's really good skills, especially for GCSE. And for those of you interested in taking graphics next year, Okay, we'll move on. Down the side over here, I'm going to start blocking in this section here. Again, because it's a side angle, now I can take my shade in and I'm going to follow the direction of this line here. I'm going to block that in. It's going to be a little bit darker on this section because remember the light's just touching the top of my box, whereas at side here, it's not getting as much light. So again, I'm just going to block that in as best I can and then round the side like that. Now at the moment I've not used my other colours and I'm feeling like I'm getting to that point in my shading where I'd like to start adding those in. So I'm going to take my mid shade now which is my purple. I'm going to go back up to the top and I'm going to give the impression of a shadow underneath this flap here to make it come out a little bit more. So again applying lightly at first I'm going to start to add a little bit of a purple blend up at the top around the side and up at the top round the side as well just to give the idea that this is a 3D shape and that the flap should in general lift off. A bit harder now just round the outer edge blending it in with circular motions when I'm ready. You can also buy a blending pencil which looks like a white pencil but again it's really good if you are interested in getting your blending techniques just so. A lot of other designers use uh, felt tips or markers to give this impression. It's a bit quicker than using pencil crane uh, but for today as I'm doing this today in the tutorial I would like to use pencil cranes and just show you how that can be achieved I believe just as good. Okay so I've added a little bit of purple rendering to the side the top now that's added a little bit down here a little bit over where I've shaded in before and just round the side and then as I go into the darker areas of my Google Cardboard, I may then add in darker shades. This bottom corner here, just going to get a bit more of a shade out on there. And if you do go over the lines, it's not the end of the world. You can get a rubber later on and you can neaten that up if you wish. A bit of circular blending just to get that in. And you can see now, just as I've shaded there, the top of the box 
the last thing just before I finish is when you do go into some of these inner shapes they're going to be very dark so again you can use your dark blue just to give the impression of some real darkness that's happening inside the Google Cardboard particularly through the lenses which you can see over here it's going to be very very dark if you wish you can cross hatch in the other direction to get a real neat shade and that's it okay thank you very much folks and i will start uploading some of your examples that you produced in lesson on youtube as we go through the project thank you